Just a little hesitation from Connolly. Snapped up by Peacock. Matt Adamson. Sinfield. To the corner. The struggle here. Oh, I think McKenna's got it down, has he? No, he hasn't. Oh, wonderful play there if he didn't get it down by the, the Bradford defence. Shantane Hoppy, quick thinking and upper body strength. And did he have to get the ball down? This is high quality rugby from the kick. It is superb rugby. Well, this First, has absolutely everything, Jonathan. The kick to the corner. Well, now then. Calder had thought he scored. Hang on. Is that his arm underneath it? Does he touch it down? That's 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 not that's um, Shane Hoppy's arm underneath, yeah. isn't it? Shantane Hoppy. Shantane yeah. Hoppy there. That's his arm, and if we roll it over, that's certainly Shantane's arm underneath. So, does he get that ball down? I don't know. Well, that is not just strength, but that is quick thinking from the. Uh, the young former junior Kiwi and the calmest man on the field. Well, he, he can be Russell Smith, he doesn't have to give a try or not. I don't think, what do you think, Ray? I don't think that's a try. This is great play. Just There's the kick. Up. There's the kick, first of yeah. all. As the ball goes across, this will be too far away, I think, for the video, Ray. I think he was looking for offside, Jonathan. Well, he, when he wasn't offside, watch this tackle. Oh, does that point touch then? I don't, I'm not sure, I don't think it does. Well, the advantage has been told to be given to the attacker by the referee's uh, commissioner, Stuart Cummings. Oh. Well, if that is the case... It, does, it, does it go down there? Does it touch down there, Jonathan? Well, you've got to roll it back a little bit more. Very, very tight. It's too close to call that, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, Jonathan. It's, uh, I think it's about an inch or so off the grass. But he's given a try. Well, you win some, you lose some, and that man has won some. Chris McKenna, former Canola Sharks. And they are two very relieved men, I don't think that really. The former Great Britain coach and now Lee's assistant can hardly believe it. Kevin Sinfield then, with his third attempt at goal. The, the, vari the variety of uh, their kicking game and on the attacking options there. The cutting them around the rucks, first of all, Gary Connolly twice, and then a, a lovely kick. Here is Kevin Sinfield. Oh, it's a beauty. Perfectly struck. And these two kickers, Kevin Sinfield and Paul Deacon, relishing the conditions here at the Millennium Stadium. And so are those fans. Adding the conversion for the Leeds Rhinos, number 13, Kevin Sinfield. Hadn't seen his usual authority around that uh, rook area. Leon Price. Deacon. Good pass, good reverse pass too. I think the chip. Oh! I think Vidi Golos come from nowhere. He's a junior sprint champion when he was in New Zealand. He and was that flying. must have been phenomenal off the mark. He went round the touchline, which you can do, and he came in. Oh, he took everybody by surprise. Great play, Paul Deacon. Watch this. Two on two, and he is like a bullet. That is a try with the shadow of doubt. Get to the screen. Watch the run around here by Paul Deacon. But his time is his run to perfection, like a bullet. Great try. Fantastic play by Paul Deacon. That is very high quality scrum half play. Terrific reaction there from the man they call the volcano. 17 stone, 11 pounds, and yet with reactions like that. He certainly took Calderwood by surprise. 
It's looking in goal. Yep, that's an easy that's try. try. Off the chest, onto his hands, try. Delicate little grubber kick. That is quality play. Yeah, that's yeah, a try. That's a try. Good communication, run around, he held his run, he held his run, and this will be a try. There it is. Bradford are back in contention, thanks to that man. And that was just the four points that the Bulls needed before half-time. Leslie Manicolo. He enjoys himself at this Millennium Stadium. And a hat-trick of tries here with New Zealand. Now, a cracker of a try just before the half-time. Deacon then. Very difficult kick. But if anyone can kick them, this luck can. Yes! And that's what he does. Unerring accuracy from the Bradford Bulls half back. And those fans suddenly sense that Leslie Manicolo has brought them back into this power gen challenge for 14 apiece as we approach the half time. Oh, we're in for a cracker of a 40 minutes in the second half. But even though he's six foot four, this lad. Lows again. Peacock trying to crash in. Oh, now then. We'll have to check oh, the no, ball. not the video ref again. <laughs> Make a decision, referee. Well, I think uh, Russell Smith feels he let go of the ball. Just James Lowe's again, look at him. <laughs> It's amazing how everyone, you're a professional player, you try to influence the referee, don't you? Well, you of course not you do. Influence, uh, of a course like you've got to win. That's your job, isn't it, right? Play the game and play the referee. I remember it well. Here now he goes. Then, look at this. I think that boss, though, that is exactly the same as Chris McKenna's. What do you think, Ray? Well, I think if Chris McKenna was awarded the try, I he's think got to have it. This, That's right. I think he's got to have it as well as the... Uh, of the attacker. Let's have another look. It's very difficult to say from that angle because we can't see where the try line is. So we can assume he's over the try line. And if he's over the try line, that is a try. Yes, we will show if he's over the line. There are legs, arms, kneecaps, everything going at that ball. I think Russell's, that might be given Russell's, from the line, I think. Look at those two there. The touch judge is there. The referee is there. If those two can't give a decision there, who can? Look at them. You can't get any closer. In a sense, the video referee should be able to actually consult the referee as to what does he oh, think as well. The point that I got to it, Jeff, the ball was actually touching the ground. Well, it's got to be a try then. Yeah. Touching the ground as in yeah. the line all over That's good communication. Well. That's by good communication. Okay. I think it's got to be a try then. Good play there between uh, Jeff Berry and uh, Russell Smith, chatting to each other, verifying a try. So Bradford, two minutes before half time, trailing 14 8. Two minutes after half time, the leading 18 14. The Bulls are on the rampage, and that man, Jamie Peacock, leading from the front. He was doubtful for this uh, Challenge Cup final winner. Broken hand. He's put that to one side. That's another decision for those two uh, video refs in the in the studio to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Someone told me in the story, Ian Millward, if he was looking at it last night, wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> Good card of hospitality, Ian. All deep. No win. No rain. Little to contend with, and that's the result. A magnificent conversion from the touchline. Totally non plus the Bradford uh, halfback. The Leeds fans sit in silence. The Bradford Bulls dance in the aisles. I think the quality of kicking a superb one, you know. The difference between missing and kicking one of those conversions could be the difference between winning and losing. He doesn't look uh, too good down there, does he? But they will need him, I'm sure. 
great tactic. That is a great kick over, it should have been run. Calder was racing with Viney Colo. Peacock's coming across as he tackled him. Peacock picked it up. Oh, a big decision there for referee Smith to make. Calderwood is arguing with the referee. Mr Smith walks away. Deke Diskins trying to impress him upon him. It's great vision, first of all. Kevin Sinfield, there is no full back at home. No full back at home, so the kick is good. And the chase is magnificent by Calderwood. And here we see but the, the real decision needed one way or the other. Does he interfere with him? I'm not so sure he does. I think Viney Colo was going for that ball. If he was going for the ball, he dived a little bit too early, I think, yeah, because yeah. I think that would have been, if not a penalty try, a certain penalty. A, penalty. a certain penalty, because Jamie Peacock was in the picture chasing back. So, but it was certainly a decision that should have gone Leeds' way, either penalty try or a penalty at least. Well, if it's to be a penalty try, Jonathan, it has to be, it, it, in the referee's opinion, a try would have been scored. The key word is would have been scored in the rule book, and I think that is doubtful. Here's the kick, first of all, from Sinfield. The, the two chasers are there, they come in the bottom of your screen just to see where Peacock in the centre of your screen is. He's back there, but I think, look, he gets to the ball first. It should have been a penalty. Leeds, Leeds I think, are feeling that the is going against them in the last five or six minutes. They've got to keep their composure now, keep Bradford out. They're on the ropes at the moment, oh, and they're offside. Last set, I shall you back, you're not taking any notice. Not taking any notice. No, nothing wrong with it. I did it. Kevin, go back please and talk to your players. There wasn't a problem with it. Offside it was there. Committed. Well, don't, don't use it on me, that's all I'm saying. There was nothing wrong. In my opinion, there was nothing wrong. The well, man was committed. The captain is allowed to ask one or two questions of the referee, but uh, that was a little bit more than questioning. A little yeah. bit of an argument going on there, and uh, a very patient... Uh, Mr Smith, but tension is rising out there, and Kevin Sinfield knows that uh, this extra two points, if Deacon strikes it, then the Rhinos have to score twice. Well, Deacon, 100% so far. As I've said, every decision seems to be going against Leeds in the last five minutes. You know, the penalty try or the penalty decision, then it was the late tackle, and now the penalty at goal. And they've just got to keep their composure. They can't lose their heads. Plenty of time left in this game. Still all to play for. But a crucial kick. One young man who has composure. And he has another two points. It's fifth in the afternoon. What's the delight of that young lady and that young man? Bradford edge out a little further, 22-14.